What's up everybody? We're gonna jump back into this. Uh, the last couple of videos have been a little kind of all over the place. So I'm going to try and uh, maybe record some of this, but very quickly, uh, probably in the next video, jump into exploring and uh, ways to make money at that and all of the nuances that are associated with that. Following that, I'll probably try to make a video on mission running and ship fitting to go along with that. And uh, we can get into some of the more detailed portions of the game. I'm most well versed with the PvE portion of the game, so I, I probably am not going to be able to do much in the way of explaining PvP. Um, for the most part, I know enough to protect myself, which I guess isn't saying a lot. So I'm just going to jump into it here. Um, I've, I've entered my new ship, which, if we look at it, is an Incursus. And it has these bonuses where for each level of Galente Frigate, um, I get 7.5% more armor reparation and 5% more damage from my small hybrid turrets. It's kind of a tiny little ship. Uh, and it looks like, if you're looking at it closely, it looks like we've got guns here and here and here and one under here and two more over here. But that's false. So don't get too excited. Uh, looking at my skills, I've currently got this character working on Drone 5, which will allow me to have five drones out at any given point in time. But, uh, <clears throat> let's see. I only have Galente Frigate 2, and I've started training into 3, but that's a long way off. But I'm going to jump in here. I've uh, shown up at the Spatial Rift. I've got my ship outfitted with not one, not two, but three uh, civilian civilian Gatling rail guns. Now, these are the only rail guns that are going to uh, be able to be used without any ammunition, which is quite handy. Uh, if you see here, you've got a turret hardpoint icon there and a launcher hardpoint icon there, and that shows you, based on the amount of dots and with the number next to it, how many of those specific weapon types or hard points uh, you're able to use on this ship. So this one uh, has room for three different turrets uh, and no rocket launchers. Now if we open up, uh, if we look at another ship type for example, uh, let's look at cruisers. And that's right, that's how the alphabet works. We're going to stick with Incalente. Uh, the Vexer is a very popular Ship. So just to jump into it, we're going to simulate a Vexer. Now, oh, well, it looks like we've got we have the ability to use four turrets and no uh, no launchers. And just to provide a an alternative uh, point of comparison, the Caracal, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sure I'm not, allows five hard points and no turrets. So just to show you something on either side, we're going to stop simulating it. But all right, so that's where we're at. We're going to enter. The Spatial Rift, I haven't done this, so part of why I think some of the videos have been, uh, I don't want to say they're boring, but why they're, it's sort of been a little bit meandering is because I didn't know kind of what was coming next. I thought this was going to take us straight into uh, some of these career agents, but it looks like there's quite the tutorial that they've Welcome up to the here. fight, so, recruit. Let's uh, put yeah, on a show. Commander, yep, I don't want to hear you. Thank you. Destroy the Seekers. So, now it's time to engage your weapons. If you're just starting out, you probably have your ship and you've got two or three guns in the in the position here. And every time you lock onto something, I'm going to actually now let's see, between 5000 and 7000 and we've got this set to 5000. That's fine. I accidentally overloaded that and I don't want to do that. So Try to orbit that and we'll target those three. But uh, what you might want to do actually is group your weapons, and that's what this little icon here does. Uh, grouping them makes them all fire at once instead of having to tell it to fire uh, like one, two, three by pressing F1, F2, and F3. Um, and so this way it allows you to sort of focus your fire. So the plan is this. We will take out their fleet to clear a path to the... Looks like the 
sound is Captain, as soon as possible, well. start approaching the highlighted so, capital ship and use your afterburner to I get there before it joins the enemy fleet. I apologize, and I guess I hop out Hurry. and check to see if, uh, as soon as it's possible, I like that. would be 
a, a, a good idea to take out the weaker targets first so that um, so that when you get into like basically you take out the weaker targets first because you're eliminating as much of the DPS as possible so I'm taking a little bit of damage here I'm not totally concerned about it. circling around, I'm going to be able to get some hits on uh, the Seekers again. I should be able to destroy the three or four that are left unless more come in. You can see that each round or each firing is signified by this circling item here. Um, and once you uh, connect with a killing blow, it'll cycle around one more time and then realize that it's done. And, uh, and then be so I'll keep hitting the, uh, took out all of its support, and now I put my damage back on the capital ship. Now this is a really weak capital ship because you can see that my damage is actually something all And also, if we look at it, you can see damage starting to show on the target. Work, Outstanding work, recruit. recruit. Return yeah. to the main formation. Find a clear shot on the hive. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me some money first, and then the hive, I'll worry about the hive. Overview and approach it. It's time to rejoin the Gotta make ends meet, you know. Don't forget to use your afterburner. Gotta make those ends. And stop when you reach the hive. More metal scraps. And more metal scraps. I'm not anticipating I'm gonna make any real money on this. Uh, on these wrecks because they're not here to make me rich. They're here to, uh, I'm not even sure why they're here, why they put loot on these things if it's garbage loot. But I guess they don't want the wealth to go to my head because, you know, gosh, that would just be too much. Now, each of these, if I process it on another character, is probably gonna get me anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 isk, so it's worth hanging on to, but it's, you know, it's not. Nothing to write home to your parents about, that's for sure. All right, well, I'm gonna go. Uh, looks like the heat status is is off, or at least has cooled down. I'll have to look into that and see what kind of damage you take or if it takes damage. I, I could have sworn that the component itself takes damage over time if you overheat it long enough. I might not have just left it long, uh, for long enough, but, uh, but yeah, we'll see. So these icons here, the, the seekers, the tutorial seekers, um, that shape, that little house shape, means that they're cruiser class ships. So I'm in a frigate, which is a little triangle. Destroyers are like a little triangle with a bar underneath them. Um, battle cruisers are the cruiser symbol, this little house with a bar underneath it. And battleships are kind of a chevron pattern, so to speak. So. Got to be within 31 kilometers, locate the hive. Yeah, I'm not going to stop my ship. I'm actually going to orbit it. Because, generally speaking, regardless of what you're going up against, whether it's missiles or projectiles or hybrids or whatever, um, if you're moving, you're going to take less damage. Like, because I'm moving, I'm a lot, I'm a lot more likely to get... Uh, glancing hits or grazing hits as opposed to hits or penetrations or, or other larger hits on me. So, um, you always want to be moving. As a, as a, like if you're up against missiles, for example, um, if you're moving away from where the missile is coming from, then the missile will do less damage because it hits you at a lower relative velocity. And for projectiles and hybrid turrets, and also for lasers, um, your radial velocity, and there's some great videos on this on YouTube. Ellen, that's enough. Um, and I guess I can just... Hey, come here. Um, your radial velocity, so let me try to get the dog squared away here. Come here. Lie down. That's right, stay. All right, 
so your radial velocity is imagine that your your enemy is like right at the center of a circle and here, let me put this here so your enemy is at the center of a circle and the faster that you rotate around that circle the faster their gun has to rotate to to keep you to basically keep aligned with you and so if you can increase your relative uh, radial velocity their, the tracking on their guns will not be able to keep up with you and they will be unable to damage you so when you hear people talk about uh, speed tanking that's one way to do it is you manage your speed and your distance relative to the target such that they can't ever really get a track on you with their guns so let's start shooting with the hive here. We're going to circle around. Uh, so there's the hive at the center there, and I'm circling around on this blue path. And as such, I'm going to actually be getting closer to the seekers, so I'm going to try to take them out so I stop taking damage because the hive itself is not attacking me. See, all the damage is coming from the seekers. So the smaller ships have smaller guns, and smaller guns have faster tracking speeds. Um, the Eve University, which is a website online, actually now makes it's a time great to explanation your targets of the hive. Oh, come on. Recruit. More seekers? I've just finished a primary system survey of the Drifter Hive database. Um, the place is like a slaughterhouse combined with a machine shop. Very, very well Bodies explains go in, the different machines between come out, the different turret types and thousands of seekers and we're building up the capacity uh, the to make radial millions. Velocity or transverse now I know velocity. the Drifter emergency radial velocity isn't over, is like what we were saying, but I want you to know that your actions have saved countless um, lives. Transverse this velocity is literally is just horizontally I consider like how it an honor to have you in my fleet. Now, yeah, when the high the, core is finally breached, the explosion will be massive. I'm pulling back the fleet to a safe zone. I'm leaving you with you the task of striking the death blow. This and is that a would path never affect in immortality, you, going and into you've games earned it, in recruit. Form or the fashion, sacrifice of your body for the liberty of your and, friends uh, will be your memory. Great example of why. On so, behalf of the Federation, as of now, I, Fleet Commander uh, Cole Torrell, promote around, you to the grade of Naval Capsuleer of the Galente Federation your and grant you full Capsuleer privileges uh, under the ULI really Convention. You here. So, earned your immortality uh, like we were talking about before, I guess when we first started and we were picking out a privilege to work with faction. an operative like you. <clears throat> That largely dictates what ships you what start in, today and if it wasn't those for ships you. and that faction Welcome dictates what type of weapons you, you end up Capsule using. Man. So the Kaldari, as an example, um, will start primarily focused on uh, missiles. The Galente generally focus on, well, we've got uh, hybrid turrets, as well as drones, and, yeah, let's go capsule was ejected. Hey, what the hell? I guess I should have been paying attention. But, uh... Yeah, my capsule doesn't have any... Whoa! Okay, that was quite the explosion, and I should have been paying attention. But, uh... Congratulations, Captain. You have become an independent capsuleer. This means you will now like, your uh, own It looks like I got blown up and then my pod got even. blown up. So your mentor would not leave you empty-handed. I've become an independent there capsuleer. There is a new mining ship in yeah, your redeemable items with the necessary Play modules activate your ship to your use command, it successfully leave you for one final operation. suggestion. Go visit the career agents. There All right, this is what I thought we were getting into previously, so but rebuild. but it wasn't. Uh, activate the ship. You will find your new ship in the ship hangar. Right click your new ship and select make active to Now audit. let's see, so they said something about how they were redeeming, you have an old or giving ship us in your a, hangar. Uh, If so, you can activate that ship. I don't know what this is, but let's open it up. Awarded for my selfless and remarkable actions. So there's two ways to die, basically. Having your ship blown up, and then you're in a pod, which you saw there for a second, and then your pod gets blown up, and then you're just a corpse in space. So if I had managed to bookmark where my ship blew up, I might, uh, 
I might have realized that, or I could have gone back and actually picked up my cold dead corpse, which I don't know what that would do for me, but uh, oh, that's nice. They give me, huh? That's kind of nice. All right, so they have given me a venture, which is a mining ship or an industrial ship of sorts, but it gets bonuses to mining and class cloud, gas cloud harvesting and uh, gives a big bonus to the yield that you get from when you are mining. Um, but before we get into that, it also gave us a salvager. These are non-civilian grade modules or components and so their quality is much better. So this miner one is much better than a civilian miner and just to show you why, uh, in the civilian miner mines six cubic meters of ore every cycle on every cycle is 10 seconds uh, so six times let's see 10 seconds versus 60 seconds and 40 if you get six meters cubed per every 10 seconds you end up with 36 as opposed to 40 every 60 so um, it's a better component but anyway they gave us a, some gifts and that's nice and they also gave us an incursus blueprint so we can come in here and we can create our own okay we don't that's nice we don't have the materials to do that but we have the ship to allow that so all right that's where i'm going to wrap it up here and then i think my next video um i'll either get into the career agents and each one will be sort of a walkthrough through the various career uh through the various agents and then um Either that or I'll get into one of my other characters that is a little bit more skilled or different and I'll show you kind of the depths of mission running and exploration and try to answer questions there. So thanks for tuning in and uh, if you want to try out the game, open up the description below. You can try it out for free and there's a link to it there. If you want to buy the game, uh, there's a link to it down below as well. Uh, if you want to buy Plex or do any of that. It would support the stream if you do so using one of those links and use the buddy link that I've got there for the alpha or the free to play version and you'll benefit from it as well. Either way, um, if you play and you want to play with me, just let me know. If you have any questions or anything is confusing you, by all means, add a comment and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.